Hey guys, Too Fanatical for you here. In this video, I'm gonna unbox and review this limited edition Year of the Rat Ducky keyboard. That's what is inside this actual box. I don't normally do review videos, so it is not gonna be like the best review out there, most definite. <laughs> But it's gonna be my review. I'm gonna unbox this awesome keyboard. We're gonna set it up. We're gonna compare it to my current keyboard, which is Razer Black Widow version 2 RGB with green switches. So both are mechanical keyboards. This one supposedly is gonna be a lot quieter. And let me tell you why. So I'm gonna read something of you so you would uh, kind of understand what this keyboard is all about. So this is Ducky Chinese Zodiac Limited Edition 2020 Year of the Rat Keyboard. There's only uh, 2020 keyboards made, so it is extremely rare. It's more like a collector's item, but I just love the looks. The looks are not for everyone, that most definitely, but I do love it. Oh, that's, that's the only reason I got the keyboard. Well, one of the reasons, actually. The second one was I kind of wanted uh, a bit quieter mechanical keyboard because I'm live streaming. And this keyboard just gets annoying, especially not only on live streams, but especially when you are typing. Let me just quickly show you how loud it is. I hope that doesn't stop. Okay. So yeah, it's super loud. Green switches on the Razer keyboard. So I'm super, super curious how much quieter that will be. So okay, let's get into specs. I'm gonna read specs um, of of a sheet I made here because there's a lot to cover. So this is first ever Ducky Hotswap PCB keyboard. Design, it's designed with co collaboration between Taiwanese company and a graffiti artist bounce who designed the looks of the keyboard. The keyboard has Cherry MX switches, die sublimated PBT keycaps, RGB lightning, a plastic case, stainless steel plate, plate mounted sta stabilizers and a USB-C connection. So this particular keyboard has Cherry Silent Red switches. Those are in the top five most like quietest mechanical switches. The keyboard itself is 60% keyboard. That means uh, size-wise it's 40% smaller than a fully sized keyboard. Also it has graffiti characters on the keycaps as you can see over there. It also has three unique icons, bounce mouse, a ABS keycaps that are shine through. So a mega sized Mousepad comes with the Year of the Rat keyboard along with a key switch puller. There's actually two of them in the box. I haven't opened the box, but I've seen I've seen stuff that's in there. Uh, some of those words made no sense to me whatsoever. So <laughs> I presume some of you guys don't know what those words even mean too. So let me just explain a couple of things on the keyboard. So if you're like me, what is hot swap and PCB? So Hot swapping refers specifically to being able to swap out the switch from the PCB without having to solder or, or desolder anything. So basically you can pull out keycaps, then the switches which are underneath the keycaps also, without like soldering. What PCB means, it means printed circuit board. So basically you can pull switches out from the circuit board. Next thing guys, what does die sublimated PBT keycaps mean? What the hell is that? Dye sublimation printing yields beautiful and permanent colors that are embedded in substrate or fabric rather than printed on the surface. So a laser engraves a legend into the surface of dye sublimated keycap. Then a dye clay material is applied to the void. This makes legends highly visible. So this printing method is used exclusively for PBT keycaps and the keys are extremely resilient to wear. So it's like engraved keycaps, basically. So, and what is PBT keycaps? PBT are typically used in more expensive keyboards. PBT short for, well, that's gonna be a challenge. Poly boot. <laughs> oh, so PBT actually stands for polybutylene terephthalate. Oh my God. So yeah, I'm gonna put that up on the screen there so you guys can try to pronounce that yourselves. So that's what it means. It's one of the hardest, most durable materials for the keycaps. It's more resilient against heat chemicals than ABS keycaps. But its properties also make it more difficult to mold, which makes it more uncommon. So 
well, that's the specs. So guys, I'm gonna also tell you a couple of negatives I already have for the keyboard. So first of all, keycaps, they are not shine through. And there's only three keycaps that are shine through. Next thing, what I will find in the box is gonna be a standard black cable. They could have included like some kind of green cable or something that goes with the style, not just a standard black cable. That's a bit weird. Okay. And also there was no choice of full full sized keyboards because I'm more used to full size keyboard and I'm only going for this one because I love the looks and I want a quieter keyboard. But would have then there be like a hundred percent keyboard fully sized, then I'll probably buy that one. But that's another negative. And kind of the last negative, obviously, is the expensive price. They cost nearly £215 here in UK. You can't get them as well. I was super, super lucky I was able to get one that late in 2020. If I'm correct, I think the keyboard's been released a couple of months ago. So I'm surprised I even got one uh, because there's only 2020 keyboards in the world. Right, so now we will move on to my phone with this tiny mic so the quality i don't know the quality might be much worse that's the things i got that's what i have to work with so, all right guys seeing you a second on another table <laughs> all right guys so finally here finally unboxing this awesome keyboard right, it's been actually sitting in the box for a couple of days because i wasn't ready to make a review video but here it is and i can tell even the box looks epic that's a box I could probably stick somewhere on the shelf. Even the box looks amazing. Right, so, okay. Let's slide it all out. Alright guys, let me show you the box. Okay, nothing in there left. Yeah, the box looks epic too. So it says the timeless 60% keyboard embodying the distinctive charisma of modern street art. Hell yeah, ducky. Nice, nice, nice. All right, okay, let's stop admiring the box. So what do we have? That's, oh, that's the graffiti artist, Bounce. So Taiwan, graffiti artist Bounce, he's been a graffiti artist for 16 years. Okay, there's more about the graffiti artist. Okay, but I'm so impatient i want to see what's in the box right so what do we see what do we see can you guys see yeah you can okay let me move it move the box like this so okay first thing that falls out straight away is the keycap removal tool one of them at least might as well show you the second one that's the other one we'll actually test this one out later on i've never pulled keys from a keyboard well at least my mechanical one so yeah that will be interesting to try one thing two things so that's that's one of my negatives having this black cable well at least it says ducky on the cable tie wrap thingy <laughs> but yeah come on just a black cable could have could have had something better right that's another accessory another cool thing is a keychain keycap and it's loud hope the keyboard is quieter than that keycap right now the big thing that's the mouse mat it's an epic epic mouse mat i want to see how actually big this is gonna be oh oh it stinks yeah don't smell this one Stinks probably same as any other mouse mat, right? Oh hell yeah, oh yeah! It is big. It is definitely big. Right, so we got such a small table. There's no more space. Right, let me just lay that out. So size comparison. I know. Here's a controller. So size-wise, one, two and a half controllers. <laughs> oh man, that's epic. All right, the other side is all black. Okay. All right, we'll put that on my main desk. Uh, let's pull those three. Yo, it just goes deeper in. Okay, we might use the tool straight away. 
come out. Ooh, okay. Nice. The tool was handy straight away. So that's the one of the keycaps. Pretty awesome. So it's the only orange keycap there is on the whole keyboard. Now, what is the second one? This one's a black one. And it doesn't want to come out either. It just goes in deeper. Oh, ah, yeah. Nice. Okay, guys, as you can see, we have moved. We have skipped a few things. Right, little did I know that my phone would stop recording at five minutes. <laughs> so we missed out a couple things. Let me show you what happened in between. So we pulled out more keycaps. This one is another shine through keycap over here. Actually, it says bounce on the keycap. This is the third one. A little mouse. Quite, quite awesome. And yeah, so basically I just removed the keyboard from this plastic cover and this thingy here. That's the actual keyboard out there. I think it looks awesome. Check on that. It's all gray and green. So I think I might swap that escape button though to one of these. One of those shine through ones. So yeah, it looks awesome. And look what's at the back here. Even a golden plate. This is keyboard 2005 from 2020. Nice. And where was it? There was another place. It actually said there's another place. It says 2005 from 2020. But look how awesome even the back looks. That is just epic. I wish I could see the back constantly as well. And also this is going to be facing uh, towards the monitor. So yeah, guys, so I don't know, should we plug it in? I think guys, the time has come to plug this baby in. So yeah, as I said, USB-C. We have USB-C over here. Okay, that's focusing. But as far as I know, with the ducky keyboards, you can actually cust get custom cables. So it does not have to be this black one. You can get others. That's cool about ducky keyboards. Well, guys, we just plugged in the keyboard. So the RGB lights are on and they look amazing. I wish it, the keycaps would be shine through, but they're not. But you know, this actually looks awesome anyways. So how about guys, we compare now the sound. All right guys, so we're gonna compare the sound now. This is gonna be first of all with this mic attached to my shirt here. So that is the ducky keyboard now. Wow, that actually started recording now. <laughs> no, we don't want the recording. Now let's try that again, so. Okay, guys, so you got the idea on the ducky keyboard, at least with this mic. So let's try. Ooh, ah, I just, it's so loud. I swear I'm not trying to type loud as, as normal. Yeah, that is just extremely, extremely loud. Okay, guys, as you can see, that's the tiny little keyboard. And how does it actually look? Let me, and that's my main one. Like, it's actually more than 100%. It also has these <laughs> keys on the side, so it's a really big keyboard. So yeah, going from that big keyboard to this tiny one is a massive, massive difference. <laughs> now I'm gonna switch over to my PC with the mic I usually do live streams. It is SM7B Sure mic. So let's see what's the difference on that mic with these two keyboards. How are they comparing to each other? I'm gonna place them in the middle as if I would be live streaming. I will not be turning mic any louder than it is now. Right guys, so we're back on my PC with the 
webcam. Now we're gonna test out the old keyboards. So this is my main keyboard. This is the Razer, Razer one, Razer Black Widow version two. I'm gonna type something the same. The Black Widow version two. As you can hear, it's probably um, really, really loud. I'll stop talking now. Now let's try the ducky keyboard. I'm gonna talk for a bit, then I will shut up. And it is actually the same distance as the other keyboard. Oh yeah, so <laughs> to me that's a day and night difference. So much quieter, so much quieter, honestly. All right guys, let me show you something pretty cool. You know, I have the green screen at the back and some of the keys are green on the keyboard, so see what happens. <laughs> how cool is that? Oh yeah, and how's the back? Oh my god, don't, don't. Look, and the back? Ducky. That's pretty epic. <laughs> Transparent Ducky. Well guys, that's gonna be the end of the review of this keyboard. I just wanted to show it off because it deserves showing off. It's one epic keyboard. I'm so happy to have it. So if Ducky continues to make such epic keyboards as this, I will probably buy more, more keyboards of them. This is in no way sponsored or anything like that. This is me buying a keyboard and being so excited about it that I wanted to make a video of it. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel and see you next one. Bye.